Honorable Abdallah Ulega, Minister of Livestock Fisheries, the United Republic of Tanzania, distinguished guests and members of the Poultry Future Forum, I express first of all my apologies for not being with you face to face this evening. Due to unforeseen circumstances, I couldn't be with you. But I'm really pleased to see a great turnout. It is my pleasure to welcome warmly all of you tonight for the celebration that marks Ilri at 50. We wanted to take this opportunity to bring everyone together to celebrate our collective achievement, as I said, but more importantly, to see how we can collaborate and improve the livestock production systems for the next five, 10 years and beyond. Ilri is a CGR center that only has one mandate, which is dedicated to livestock research for development. Ilri's strategic focus has expanded over its 50 years of existence, responding to the changing development imperative. We have gone from our original tight focus on improving livestock health and production in developing countries, encapsulated in the slogan, making the livestock revolution work for the poor, to most recently, a slogan about better lives through livestock, to most recently focus on better lives and better planet through livestock. Let me talk a little bit about ILRI engagements in Tanzania. ILRI has had a long presence through its predecessor ILCA and ILRAD for more than four decades. Some of the work that we've done in Tanzania has focused on East Coast fever. As you know, it's a huge disease in the livestock sector. And from 1997, through the East African Veterinary Research Organization, we have collaborated and developed a, a vaccine which is called Muguga Cocktail. And from its use in 1997 up to now, we are proud to say that we have vaccinated very many millions of animals, saving a lot of investment that would otherwise be lost in Tanzania and many of the countries in Eastern and Southern Africa. After this, ILRI opened really its office in 2014 in Dar es Salaam. And on this, I really want to thank the Tanzanian government for providing an exceptionally conducive investment, uh, environment for our work to take place in, in Tanzania. And on this, I also want to acknowledge and congratulate many colleagues who have been trained through ILRI, who have generated publications and innovations that today we can proudly say are transforming the livestock sector in Tanzania. I want to focus on some of the examples that we have achieved that are worth noting tonight. The dairy sector is a sector for which we have really led the way. We set out through the African dairy genetic gains to do a number of things. Combining ICT platform, bringing genomic technologies for evaluation, and more importantly, engaging farmers to provide the data to support their decision. And since 2016, in partnership with Taliri, ADGG has uh, registered more than 70,000 animals from 33,000 herd across Arusha, Kilimanjaro, Tanga, Iringa, Jombe, Mbeya, and Songwe, and probably even more. The program has developed a genetic index to rank and breed and uh, uh, to rank breeds of cattle that produce more milk, and we were very uh, honoured a couple of years ago to do the bull ranking uh, event in Tanzania. Yeah. Let me talk about the second example of the work that we are celebrating tonight. ILRI, through its partners, has really played a significant role in developing the livestock master plan for the Republic of Tanzania, and I was very proud at the recent African Food System Summit to hear from the minister that that last stock master plan is driving not only investment from the government, but also external investment into the sector. The last example I want to talk about is really focusing on youth. We all know that gender and youth are really the promising uh, target group that we can uh, support through this business. And since 2022, ILRI has been working with Kusa Biashara Taliri and other partners in Tanzania to train young entrepreneurs to promote livestock technologies to 60,000 smallholders and focusing on dairy and chicken farming. The goal is to boost productivity, increase household income, 
and create job opportunities in rural Tanzania. And we are very proud to see this as an initiative which aligns with what the government of Tanzania is promoting to support the livelihood of people in the country. Again, let me thank Honorable Minister, partners and distinguished members of the poultry community value chain and the guests who are attending this event tonight. I hope this will not only be a reflection on past achievement by a stepping stone, but a stepping stone for further collaboration to strengthen Tanzania livestock sector, to deliver benefits to national development, improve nutrition and health, and improve the livelihood of Tanzanian citizens. Thank you so much.